Hey, my name is Tom. I'm one of the sinners that go to church here. Um, I want to give you a couple of numbers to play with today. 30.6, 6.7, 6.8, 49.6, if you weren't here in the last game. Tell me what you think those games, what those numbers represent. Those numbers are the lifetime stats from Michael Jordan. One of the greatest to play. Now, some of you are going to say, well, what about LeBron? He does have a higher field goal percentage of 50.2, but he's not facing any defense. I know the new generation like Steph Curry, and I can give you all his stats. He's only at 41.3 and shooting threes. So all those are important stats. I love this great game of basketball. I got an opportunity to coach it, win a state championship, and I realized early on in my career that it's not about the X's and the O's, it's about the Jimmy and the Joes. And I see some of you are very enthusiastic about your kids scoring and playing. Not that we're going to hang a banner from others. I want to give you another percentage. It's a 100% chance that everyone in this room is going to die. I don't mean to sound morbid, but it is a reality that all of us are going to face eternity sometime. The Bible says there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved except the name of Jesus. I've had, I've had a lot of people talk to me down through the years, celebrities, and say, oh, there's lots of ways to get to God. The Bible is very clear, very clear, that in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. As one man sinned, entered into the world, that's Adam, and he sinned, and he made and created a separation between us and God. And then Jesus came and died on the cross for your sins and mine. And I'm an old guy. And when I, before I had a relationship with Jesus, I was me as a junkyard dog. And a lot of you kids don't know what that is. But when Jesus came into my life, He changed me. And I'm 100% sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that I have a relationship with Jesus. And if I were to die today, I'd go meet Him. And I have eternity secure. Here at Lemon Baptist Church, we come and have this upper program. And we involve all this stuff for one reason. And that's one reason only. Not only to have these kids in this community all come together, but we can tell you about the love of Jesus and the opportunity that we can have to share what He's done for us to you. If someone here today doesn't know Him and you're not 100% sure, the stats will stack up that we all need to know Him to pardon and forgive us of sin. If you don't know Him, if you don't know Him, I would love to tell you what He's done for me. I'm not a preacher. I'm just a guy who has a vocation. I go to church here. I've been here 47 years, and I just enjoy what He's done for me, and I'd like to share it. Greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world. 1891, Naismith created this great game of basketball with 13 original rules. The crazy part about that is the only rule that's still in effect after that first time he invented it is because they played it inside and the balcony was 10 foot high. So they put the peach basket at 10 foot. The goals were still 10 foot high. Now there's 100 rules. Now there's 100 rules in basketball for the 13. In the Bible, there's only one rule that you have to have a relationship with Jesus in order to spend eternity with Him. We hope that you know Him today. If you don't, please come and ask me, ask somebody else on the staff. We'd love to tell you what He's done for us. Let me pray. Father, we love you. Thank you for the opportunity to play this great game of basketball. We thank you, Lord, for these families and this community that have come in here. We pray, God, that they would realize how much we love them. If they don't have a church home, God, I pray that you would burden their hearts to come visit us, see what we're all about here at Lebanon Baptist Church tomorrow morning as we celebrate you and unpack God's Word. Thank you for this. Uh, kids who are playing, protect them, go to heads of protection, keep them free from injury. Thank you for loving us, even though you know everything about us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, go check out the concession stands. They're serving lunch now, some burgers, hot dogs, and uh, chicken tenders, french fries, snacks, drinks, all kinds of good stuff. Also, next week, the Boy Scouts will be doing a, a um, Boy Scouts are doing a canned food drive, so bring your non perishable food, so they can go out to our food pantry. That'll be next week. We're going to get some half life on this thing.
Oh, that's because I can get back. Oh, no. You're right. 